Hi guys, I'm going to do a book review today and I'm going to be reviewing um, The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin. This is a book I got from Neck Alley, so a big thank you to them for that and the publisher is Little Brown Publishing. This is a book about a young girl who, she's only about 12 or 13 years old and she finds out that her friend died from a drowning accident during the summer and she's a really, really hard time accepting the fact that her friend has drowned and she ends up um, through a different circumstance, just through these set of circumstances discovering the world of jellyfish and she starts studying jellyfish and realising how many types of jellyfish there are in the world, what different stings can do to a human body and she decides, she gets an idea in her head that her friend was killed by a jellyfish sting and that's actually what happened and she didn't just, just drown, like it just didn't happen like that. Um, so she starts um, kind of studying these jellyfish um, trying to connect with all these jellyfish experts and at the same time she's just you know going through those teenage early teenage years kind of trying to make new friends and um, just you know just being just being a young young person and dealing with the death of her friend and trying to make new friends and all that kind of stuff I love this book I read it in one sitting I couldn't put it down it was just absolutely amazing <sighs> I just loved it. Um, there's a real sense of those awkward teenage years where you're kind of just, you're just stopping being a child. You're just at that, that edge where you're not really a child anymore. You're just starting to become a teenager and you don't really have that excuse to still kind of act like a child but at the same time you're not ready to be, you know, a proper teenage girl with, you know, getting into makeup and boys and hair and I really felt this way with Suze who's our main character she just doesn't get that whole real you know the makeup the boys um all that the the, the clothes she just wants to kind of just go and do her own thing she loves to kind of study things she loves to find like discover all these weird things and they all think that she's weird all the other classmates think that she's a big weirdo and she's very alone she's not really being bullied at times times she is bullied um but she's kind of very very isolated by herself and it's just something that I could really really empathize with and I could really identify with Suze at this point where because I remember when I was that age and I was trying to kind of discover who I was supposed to be as like a 13 year old girl and you know you're going through all those just those awkward horrible moments um you know growing up and puberty and all that kind of stuff and I just I just like felt for Suze so much. I just knew exactly what she was going through. Um, and I think a lot of people will. I think it's one of those things where so many people will see themselves in Suze at just different points in the book when she's trying to, and she's kind of thinking about things and she's thinking about, oh, well, why do they act like that around the boys? Or why would you bother doing this and this and this? And when you could just, you know, make it easier for yourself. And I think everyone has probably felt like that at some stage in their life whether they're 13 or 16 or even like in their 20s and you know you're kind of going through all these different trans transitional stages in your life and there's parts with Suze that you can really see yourself I think I could really see myself in her um and she was just really really great she was just qu she was just really great in questioning things and kind of just bringing these kind of observations um to into the air and you're just like yeah like I get that um, but it was really really great um, I loved her family dynamic as well she doesn't really talk that much anymore because her friend's death and while her parents are worried about her they're not like overly like on top of her about it they kind of have ac accepted it that this is the way it is going to be for a while and they're kind of at their own pace or at Suze's pace you know accepting it and what just waiting for her to kind of feel ready to talk to them and they do bring her to a therapist but it's not they're not like demanding that she talk to this person or demanding that she that she talk to them. She, it's very very understanding and the therapist is quite good as well. I think she's not, she wasn't too overbearing as well. She kind of lets Sue's figure stuff out as well for herself, and I really enjoyed that. And I think they were just there for her when she needed them to be there for her, as well as her brother and her brother's boyfriend as well was very involved in the family and that was really great to see. And at the same time, um when she was talking about her brother being gay there was like no deal about it it was just like oh yeah and his boyfriend Rocco or whatever his name was I can't remember what his name was now I think it was Rocco or Raphael or something like that but there was just no big deal about it and there wasn't this big story about him coming out or whatever it was just you know they were happy that he had a friend who became a boyfriend and 
that was that and I really really like that there was just no fuss about it and it's nice to see that in kind of I think this can be classed as a middle grade book there are times where it could be a little bit too kind of sucked in with all the facts about jellyfish but as an adult reading it I was okay I just wonder if a child was reading it or someone who's 12 13 14 years old might feel a bit overwhelmed with all the jellyfish facts um, and not enough story where for me there was enough story and enough jellyfish facts as well but overall it was really really great and um, I actually welled up a little bit at the very end there was this lovely scene between Suze and her mom at the airport and there was just something about it that really really touched me and I think it was just her mom being there for her and you know not making a big deal out of everything and then her brother came and and then her dad later she rang her dad later but like all this kind of stuff came to like it all kind of exploded and everything kind of came out and they were all there to talk to her and be there for her and it was just so lovely I really really enjoyed it um so yeah I just wanted to sit down and talk about this book because it was really really good and I want other people to read it and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again next time bye